How are you feeling after that big trip? A little jet lag? Yeah, a little. I mean, can't complain, though. Look, I just wanted to say maybe I could have shown you a little bit more respect in the past. You obviously proved in Japan that you deserve it. Hey, don't worry about it. I know you got the whole rookie treatment when you first got to WWE, too. I definitely did. Maybe I was just doing the same thing to you without even thinking about it. We're cool now, though, right? I don't know why John Cena is here, but I do know that Buzz will be in action. Coming up next on SmackDown Live. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have one of our breakout talents. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Ooh, what impact. Oh, what a right! Man, that's an attitude behind it. Big elbow. You've got to believe this one's over. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Well, enough already. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Hey, hey, you're going to get yourself disqualified. Aiden Nigo starting to slow a bit. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Oh, that hurt. Knee to the spine. the impact. <laughs> Appears as though Aiden English is starting to fade. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. What a stomp. Good grief. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. And the pitch. Uppercut. Right to the skull. You know, WWE has become accustomed to seeing unusual pairings find success. But when Aiden English and Rusev first paired up in 2017, I don't think anybody expected the duo to become as much of a force as they became. feet here and it's moves like that that make him so dangerous 
The Aiden English Rusev pairing. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's gonna do it. Boom. <laughs> this one's over, guys. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar rules his salt ever does. Counter here. Beautiful technique. He goes down hard. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this point, Cole. Right in the mouth. Relent. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Nailed it. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Oh. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Oh. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Oh. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Oh, boy, he is rolling. While I was coming in today, I heard a lot of fans. Here we go a second time. Well, that'll hinder your modeling career. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Uh-oh, Aiden English is in trouble now. Super kick. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Injuries definitely are a storyline. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. Now we have an idea why John Cena's here tonight. Because he had an issue with Aiden English's singing? Cena might not be a fan of the Drama King, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown Live's hottest superstar, Buzz. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. You gotta see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. You gotta see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the US title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm, I wonder where he got that idea. You gotta see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the dome of all places. Now most people would get caught up in all that, but not me. You see, I've been around for a while. And so many times I've heard all the buzz. And then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? Well, this might come across as arrogant, but I believe I measure up to every bit of the hype. No, oh, that's good. You should be confident in yourself. But I also understand it's one of those 
need to experience it firsthand to believe it sort of things. So if you truly want to find out if I measure up, how about you and me go one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam? After that, all your questions will be answered. Let's do it. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot. Look, I can give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting, not Cena versus Orton Part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Oh yeah? Well, I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the US title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me right now! What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Or do you want another handout? All right, to prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an RKO. taking stupid risks, and this one's going to cost him his match with Cena at SummerSlam. That's only if Orton can defeat him. But what does he have to gain? I think it's a matter of pride. Well, there's a fine line between pride and stupidity, and he's crossed it. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relax. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. 
Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Just punched him right in the mouth. Rel Just punched him right in the mouth. Rel Randy Orton need to do now. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Ugh. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. Well, he's certainly looking a little... What's Triple H doing here? This could get ugly real fast, guys. We're about to have a new man. Wait a minute! AJ Styles might have something to say about that. Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value friendship over money, Corey. Oh, those people are idiots. This could be all she wrote. Ooh, right to the face. But he's got to capitalize now. The Viper getting absolutely... He goes for the cover. Real nicely done. I can't believe he's in this. He's still in this. Ooh-wee. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Boom, what impact. off some of his speed there. Harsh impact. Goes down hard. Right in the mouth. Relent. Right in the mouth. Relent. Right in the mouth. Relent. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relent. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. God. He looks for it once again. Oh, what a boot to the face! Just when you thought he had nothing left. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it! This might be big. He's going for it all. This could mean trouble. What's he got in mind? What's going to happen now? Six. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. God. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. God. This might be it. Oh, my. This one's for good measure. Ooh, right. 
in the face. Destroyed. The Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. Given the number of times we've seen it tonight, calling it a finisher might be a bit of a stretch. And he got a near fall out of it. Just needs to do more damage. What a super kick! <laughs> the Viper getting absolutely pounded right now. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. He's getting after it here. I remember this part very well. Here is your winner, Thunderbolt. This was a much needed win. And talk about displaying a never say die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, no matter what obstacles are put in front of me, I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And will continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna make you tap. Hey, come on, that's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the pay-per-view, just in case Triple H or Randy Orton try to get involved again. Hey, I really appreciate that. You've been such a big help, which is... I hate to ask for another favor, but would you be willing to show me the calf crusher? I don't know, man. That's kind of my thing, you know? Can't be giving out all my secrets just in case we have to face each other again someday. Look, I need help if I'm going to beat Cena in this submission match. I mean... I'll get down on my knees and beg if I have to. Oh my, stand up, I'll show it to you. Awesome, I owe you one. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll settle up at some point. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Triple H, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to help at this point. Yeah, tell me about it. He's still holding one against me from five years ago. Anyway, good luck in your submission match. 